Our verse today is Mark chapter 1, verse 22. And they were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one who had authority and not as the scribes. This verse comes at the beginning of the public ministry of Jesus. In the Gospel of Mark, it was the first time that Jesus entered into the synagogue to teach. The people were astonished at his teaching. The word ekpleso in Greek means to be amazed, astounded, to be struck with astonishment, or to be overwhelmed or bewildered. The people were mesmerized. You know how you feel when you hear something from someone from whom you least expected? Think about a little child saying things that are way beyond the child's age. Everyone would want to listen to that child. In the case of Jesus, he was not an official teacher of the scriptures. Hence, they were astonished because of the way he taught. He taught them as one who had authority. Exousia. Exousia in Greek refers to ability, capability, might, or power. Exousia was usually the power or authority exercised by rulers. You can then understand why they were astonished at Jesus' teaching because he was not officially recognized as one who had the authority to teach. The teacher didaskalos in Greek was a title of dignity and respect. Jesus would be called didaskalos later in the gospel and even rabbi, a rabbi, meaning my great one. The scribes and Pharisees were the official teachers and they had their disciples. Jesus did not teach as the scribes, those who know the law. It shows his confidence and ability to explain the scriptures to them. There is a lesson to learn from this verse. God can use someone who has no formal training in scriptures to teach. There are great men and women in history who have commented on the scriptures without acquiring the formal knowledge. Think about St. Teresa of Avila or St. Catherine of Siena. These people taught with authority also. They had the authority of divine revelation at their disposal. To interpret the scriptures correctly, we do not need only to study, we need faith, but also an intimate relationship with God at prayer. We need time to meditate on the word and to allow God to speak to us and through us. The authority of Jesus was not from the teachers of the law, but from God. Hence, he could teach with such authority. A word of caution. The normal route to teaching the scriptures or to correctly interpreting the scriptures is to study it. Many have not studied and have not listened in prayer. And they teach according to what suits them. Beware. Lord, speak your word to our hearts when we read and meditate on the scriptures. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.